Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William and in this tutorial we are going to look at uh, the way we can be able to generate a sitemap for our Laravel application and I'm going to use a package that is called Sparty sitemap. So uh, I would like us to navigate to our project folder and then uh, install a fresh installation of Laravel. So we go to ZAMP then htdocs and then now you right click and use git bash i would like it to be a little bit of an increased size so let me just do something about it i will right click and i will go to options and then under options i will click on text and then select i would like it to be around 16 and now you apply so we are going to have that and so we are going to install a fresh installation of laravel so i'm going to write uh, composer create project laravel then the name of uh, our project let me call it sitemap and then we press enter and uh, since it takes a while to install let me post the video welcome back our project is fully installed so i would like to hop into a project folder so i'm going to change directory sitemap we are inside that uh, project folder and i would like us to install this party sitemap package so we are going to run the command composer require sparty laravel sitemap and we run the command again i'm going to post the video the package is fully installed so let us open it in visual studio code we are going to do we are going to do several things and uh, the first thing is to change some things in our env and we are going to call this package of ours i mean the database sitemap like that and we are going to save that i'm also going to go to I'm opening terminal and uh, we are going to create a post model so I will just say let me just modify a little bit to make this text a little bit bigger so open appearance that will go to zoom in yes and I think that is not so bad maybe a little bit more appearance again zoom in just see what we have yes i think that one is very okay so inside uh in our terminal i'm going to create a model so we are going to use the command php artisan make model then we are going to have the name of the model we are going to create blog posts so i'm going to call the model post and i will tag everything that can be able to be created with it so in this case it's going to create uh, the model the factories the migration controller and um, um, policies and so on and so forth and then after that uh, I would like to work on uh, whatever it is that you've created so i want to go to the u the post model so i go to models post and i want to uh, edit and put some code here and what i'm going to write here is protected available And we are going to have we are going to have uh, in our database we will have 
the title and then we are going to have slug and then we are going to have the description like that so I will save that then I will go to database migrations I'm going to work to the with the most recently created which will be the last one the migration that is created last year and it's our it's our posts migration and I'm going to clear create the a string for the title this is the title so we will need a title and then we are going to have a string also for the slug and then we are going to have um, text for the description like that then I'm going to go to factories and um, we are going to work on uh, the post factory so I would like to populate the post factory with some data and uh, what I want us to have here we want to create some data on our database so the first thing we will need to have is a title title and in this case this we can set it to a fake sentence sentence like that and then we are going to have slug we are also just going to create a fake slug And then we are going to have a description and here we are going to uh, have a fake paragraph like that I hope I've typed it in everything in a way that is okay then we are going to go to cedars and we are going to open the post cedar and do some modifications there so we go to cedars post cedar and in our post cedar we are just going to ensure that it creates for us data in the under the public function run we are going to to just say up then models and then the model that we will be running this is called the post model factory and then we are going to create and inside here we can write the number of records we want in our database so we put 200 think it's not very bad if we do it like that um, the next thing that I would like us to do is uh, to now go to the web.php and uh, do a few things there also because that is where we are going to the place where we are going to be creating our our sitemap so I we open it and then populate it with some data so inside here we are going to first of all import spati so you have use spati sitemap sitemap like that and then we are going to also use spati 
sitemap tags url then we are also going to reference our post model so app more models then post like that after that i'm going to create a route here i'm just going to have route get i just call it sitemap sitemap then we are going to have a function like that the battery is almost running low so let me do something about it let me pause and plug it in and then we can be able to continue so we are going to inside here we are going to save in a variable called sitemap we are going to have the helper sitemap create like that we can even uh, just have it like that and then after that we are going to chain the maybe the obvious url so we can say add url In this case, we can create, and the first URL maybe that is very common that you can find in our website maybe is home. And then we can also chain about the about page. We can also chain maybe something else. Um, contact then after that we can be able to also get the posts so i would like to get the posts from our post model so i'm going to say post all and then we can say each after that we have a function we are going to pass in post and user the variable sitemap and then we will have sitemap add then we are going to have the urls now that will be generated from uh, our models or in other words the model or the posts that we have in our database so create and uh, probably the way we have it in the database probably we can have posts forward slash posts and then forward slash our, our post slug so we're going to have it here so we're going to say post post slug like that and then i think that one is okay after that after we are done with whatever it is that we are doing in this post model then we are going to generate our sitemap so i'm going to just say sitemap 
and then we will have write to file and then he, inside here we can store it wherever we want let me store it in the public uh, folder so you say public path and then the name that you save it with sitemap dot xml I like that so I would like to just move such that you're able to see what we maybe the code that we have here in, a, in sort of like entirety so something of that sort that is what we're having in this function now uh, how you save that it seems we have an error it seems we have an error so let me let me check it out it seems we have an error here and i'm going to remove this one and close with it here i think it's supposed to be the one that closes here like that if i'm not wrong yes that is okay and then after that now we are going to run our migrations i believe we were able to do some setup on the env let me see yes our database is sitemap and uh, i want to run migrations even though I have not been able to set the database, in, uh, the, uh, I've not been able to create the database. But I think in uh, in the current versions of Laravel, it can be able to inquire and then assist with that. So let me just open terminal and then um, run migrate PHP artisan and migrate. We see if it will be able to create for us. Uh, if it will be able to create for us the database and also run the migration. So let me just type it in php artisan migrate. But I need to have my ZAMP running. At least that one is a must. So let me first of all run that one. Yes. So yes, those ones are running. And I think perfectly okay. So I can uh, hit enter here and says the database sitemap does not exist on the My mysql connection would you like to create it so i can type y for yes it has created the uh, database for us and it has also run the migration the next thing that i'm going to do is to seed our database so i'm going to say php or maybe let me just clear such that whatever it is that i'm typing is visible so we are going to say php artisan db seed and if everything is okay we will be able to seed so we have seeded our database so in other words i believe we have 200 in this case posts but then fake posts uh to, so to say so the next thing i'm going to do is to run our laravel application so i'm going to say php artisan serve and then also go back to our web.php maybe say something after our request has been uh, completed if after our request has completed to run where when we have whatever it is that we are having here so maybe we can return uh, sitemap created successfully like that and save so i would like to open the browser and test if everything is okay with our application so let me just open this one here and we are going to say localhost 8000 to run our laravel application after that, I'm going to do forward slash sitemap, like that. 
and run you can see sitemap created successfully that is a good sign i want us to go to our files here and check so i want to go to public and then sitemap.xml you can see there is a file that has already been created in public and when we open it you can see we have our sitemap and uh, so we have home about the ones that we did at first and then contact it means the ones for the blog are not set so let me check as to why that is the case i can pause the video here and then we we check how we resume when we see why the others were not created I have checked the reason why our application was not having all the the routes in our sitemap is because there is no post that has been created in our database. So ideally what was happening is that um, whatever it is that we have in our routes web.php, the, the routes that were being created were only home, about, and contact. And so I looked at it and so as if there could be a problem with uh, my code i have tried to look at it again and uh, we are going to edit it as follows up here we are going to import the post model like that and then here we are going to um, i want to just change this one and I want to, in fact, the reason why I had a problem with this one, the reason why we were not able to insert our posts in the database was because we were calling database seed only. And as you can see, the database seed has nothing to run. And so that is the reason why there's nothing that is being created in the, in the database. But uh, I would like to modify this even though it is not, it is uh, a little bit wrong in itself because here at factory we need to have uh, open and closing brackets like that for it to work. If we ra run it like that, it will work. But um, I would like to just uh, maybe do something slightly different. So we can say post. And then we are going to, to also... Uh, post factory like that and then count the number of records we want to put in the database or the fake records we want to create in the database so I'm going to say 200 and then we will chain create like that and this command will be able to do that work for us so we are supposed to come and declare whatever it is this post model in our database seeder but for me, I think I am not going to do that. I'm just going to call it directly when we do DB seed. So we can either put it there or we can just say PHP artisan artisan DB seed. And then we are going to chain a few more things. We are going to chain the 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 cedar the post cedar so i'm going to to do it like that class and then post cedar like that so if i run this it's saying seeding database and now it has seeded so if we go and check our our post database if i refresh here as you can see we have uh, the 200 uh, posts in our database the next thing i would like us to do is to go to web.php that is our our routes folder and i have uh, made small changes the only thing i have changed is to put double quotes here that is the only thing i've 
changed that is different from whatever it is that we had done previously. And I think that is just about it. So we will go to localhost and then run sitemap. And it says sitemap created successfully. So I would like to check what it is that we have in our um, uh, sitemap XML file. And as you can see, we are saving it in the public folder. So I open it and I want us to check. As you can see, we are having many, 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 very many uh, URLs. So in this case, uh, our video has uh, is successful and we have been able to create the sitemap. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until here. I request that you subscribe, like, and even share the video. And you can also comment if uh, there's anything that you'd like us to engage with you. Thank you very much.